to have exchanges in a round table. But the top card came from the staff of the Committee of 100. You shall stop at 1015. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Which allows only eight minutes for <clears throat> us to do anything. Here's what I propose to do. These questions are very, very important. The panelists are here. I'm going to spend a few minutes in going through what I think is imperative for me to cover. But I think we will splinter out and go out. Some of these questions are directed to each of the panelists. Please go to them. I think we should not ignore it. I'm not trying to ignore the questions. But there are some important areas I would like to cover with the precious seven minutes now left. One of the things that have been pointed out is China is a civil law country. And we have pointed out all the laws with respect to coverages. As to the, uh, the, the, the property law in 2004, I find that to be a very important proposition that has been stated. Uh, it cannot be overemphasized. I was there in China when this occurred. And I'm glad to hear that Justice Kennedy is working uh, with, uh, with uh, Judge, Judge Clifford Wallace from my committee in this whole program. But I have been working with Justice O'Connor uh, just before this legislation was passed. And we're very happy that this is a good start. But in the essence of the uh, writing of the law, the words quite quizzically are put in there to protect human rights. And I know it's only an adjective with respect to the human rights and the property law. Do you see that in, in the aspects of the National People's Congress, uh, Mr. Wong, that in the writing of future laws within China, civil or criminal, that these two words, human rights, might be something that will be creeping in to other pieces of uh, civil law? Uh, <clears throat> right. Um, um, I work in the uh, legislative affairs for more than 22 years. To tell the truth, China has not much experience to, when we draft the laws. So when, when we draft the laws, we often make reference to other legal systems, both the common law system and the civil law system from the common law system in the United States and England. For the civil law system, the, uh, the Germany, the France, and the Japan. So as for the protection of human rights, now we are considering, um, during my presentation, I just, uh, just touched uh, the lawyer's law is revised why we revised this in the last year, in the middle of last year. So um, i tell you something about this. In 1996, we revised our criminal procedure law. We have some big changes to the, to the criminal proceeding. First one, we abolished the prosecutors have the power to convict a person. We, we abolished this. The prosecutor can, cannot have the right power to convict the person. The second one is to change the, the, the trial model from the, the old one, old model. You see, before the 1996, the, the judge will argue with the defense lawyer. <coughs> the judge will show the evidence. We don't think it's fair, it's a trial. So, we learn something from the, from the both the common law system and the civil law system from other legal system. We learned, you see, we changed this. We let the prosecutors and the defense lawyer to argue each other. The defense the prosecutors will show the evidence. Now let the judge sit impartially in the middle to listen to the, both, the opinions of the both sides. This is another big changes. The third one is right after a person, a suspect is questioned, interrogated by the police or arrested, he can have the access to a lawyers to provide legal advice to him. And uh, you say, 
big changes, I think you see. The thing is, our, we don't have much experience. The whole criminal procedure law, so the criminal proceeding, we just have 225 articles. To let this law have a lot of a gap, can be, that can be used by the policeman, by the, uh, by the prosecutors. And also, you see, you see, the good principle, the good idea, but when the, this law came out, the, 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 defend, the lawyers complained to us, we have three difficulties. We have three difficulties, major three difficulties. Can I interrupt you? You're, you're absolutely correct, but I have th two minutes left. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I, 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 would I, like to, I, I would like to, there's so many questions, I, and I think you would all love to hear these conversations, but let me just boil it down to one more topic because there's only two minutes left. And the, the committee will defer for me to go over maybe a few more minutes. And it is this. The, the China is a civil law country. We covered the aspects of the, the, the laws, and there are perhaps vacuums in areas that there will need further legislation on. And I, I think China is working admirably along, along the way. But the law is, seems not to be the real issue here. It seems like, one of you touched on it, enforcement is really the key. And overlying the issue of enforcement is the issue of in corruption as well. I don't mean that people are just taking money. It could be as simple as not valuing the respect for the law. It could be someone walking across the street against the law. It could be just anything of that sort. The corruption is, is it's an issue of this whole culture that I'm dealing with when I lecture in China about compliance to the law. And this culture of non-compliance is out there. I, I know that I, I, I'm speaking a little bit more because of the limitation time, and I want you to respond now. I, I think there is a problem throughout the institutional development in China with the lack of resources with respect to getting enforcement effectively done. But I would like, as a last question, for each of you to respond. What your thinking is with regard to this overriding problem with the culture of uh, non-compliance to the law. Now, we have a little bit of that in the United States. And when I see non-compliance, it's easy. I put them in prison, in criminal. <laughs> and on the civil side, we find them. <laughs> 